Um, the resume always comes up. You know, whether it's the most important thing or second most important thing, it's in the top five. Um, and keywords are extremely important because they come up in um, HR searches and, and, that, and the like. Um, what are the key elements uh, that you look for in a resume or that you would recommend somebody trying to get into the profession? What, what are the key elements in a resume that, that you know, impresses you? Well, I, I think it's less specifically I worked here from this time to this time, but more if you can talk about projects you've been involved with where you've been able to personally impact the goals and objectives of a particular program. And it can be anything along the way. If while you're in school you're working on things, whether it's through the athletic department or working on marketing programs where there are transferable ideas and skills, those are the types of things that I look for, sort of a creative way of showing that you actually understand the business that you're trying to break into and shown ways that you've actually successfully done things. I don't think it's necessarily about tenure or having worked at specific organizations. It's being able to show that you understand the business. Is it also um, a key uh, to accentuate how you drove revenue? You know, it really comes back to how much money did you make for, for whatever brand you were a part of? Yeah, at, at the end of the day, we don't exist if we're not driving revenue. And oftentimes that means working on a revenue side of the business where you may not necessarily have a comfort zone there. You don't have to necessarily have sold tickets to be a CMO, but if you don't understand the revenue side of the business, you don't understand how you're going to impact that, you're not going to be able to succeed in an organization. Um, Alyssa, um, in this day and age, um, internships are extremely coveted, but are, aren't always the easiest thing to, to attain. Talk about the importance of job shadowing, volunteering, um, and, um, and, and, and the internships. But if you can't get the internships, talk about job shadowing and volunteering and the informational interview and um, how important those things are. Yeah, I think, you know, the first step is just knowing where you want to work and what area of the business you want to work in. Um, and, you know, if you're, if, you, if you're unable to get an internship, getting an, an informational interviewing, networking, networking, networking. Networking to me is equivalent to real estate. You know, like when you're out there in the real estate market, it's all about location, location, location. For a job, it's all about network, network, networking. Um, and it's also, you know, even in school, you know, I tell people that I have in informational interviews with now that are at the undergraduate level or graduate level, network within your own peers because you never know where that person who's sitting next to you in Marketing 101 is going to end up five years from now. Um, so it's about getting, doing your research, knowing where you want to work, you know, identifying people that are, have the job that, you know, you ultimately want to have and how do you get connected to those people. Um, and and, you know, just using this, if you're in school, using your school resources to open up doors, whether it's your, your professor, whether it's your advisor, um, because people can open up doors for you, and that's all you need is just that one chance. Bobby, where, where are the jobs? And, and, <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a pretty straightforward question, but it's not, not the easiest one. Um, and is there a particular... Um, area of the business where it's a little bit easier to break in, um, you know, that, that's really the question. Where are the jobs and is there a facet of the industry um, that, it, that may be easier for the 22, 23 year olds to break into? You know, I, I think one of the, I think one of the benefits of, of the time that we're in right now is because there's so much convergence between sports and entertainment, uh, music, lifestyle, marketing, media, and all these other things is that it, it, the, the idea of having transferable skill sets or transferable mm -hmm. knowledge base and all those things are, are, much, um, are much easier to apply now than it probably was five years ago or 10 years ago. Um, you, can, you can have an undergraduate in, one, in, in PR and those skill sets can, be, can apply to marketing or communications in ways that you might not have been able to apply them or at least been able to been open to have certain conversations before. Um, you know, in terms of where the jobs are, I mean, I don't, you know, it's, it's difficult to say. I mean, in some, 
in some areas, you know, the way people are creating their own jobs and, and creating their own entities, jobs are, you know, what you make them. Um, and in some areas, you know, it's very competitive. It's very competitive in marketing, it's very competitive in sports. You know, you're talking about industries where you have a fixed number of spots, and people don't really leave. You know, I mean, they just, you, once you're in, you love it, you enjoy it, and, and you stay. Um, I think, you know, the networking is key. Um, and I will also just say that, you know, everybody wants to meet, everybody wants to sit down and talk to the CEO. You know, it's like, I want to have lunch with the CEO, and, you know, that's, that's my, or the VP, or the head of this, or the head of that. Like, find ways to, to network. You know, you said it best, network within your own peer group. Find out the person who got that job that you're trying to get, got that last year. What did they do? You know, who do they know? Who else, who else is, is, is in, who, who is where you want to be right now? Who's the 24-year-old that's in the position that you want to be this year or you want to be next year? And find out what they did as well because those are the, that, that's the type of advice that is really going to be the most relevant to where you are right now. I mean, and, and I think that that, I think it's, I just think that it's so important. I think it's just such, such an overlooked step in networking that people just want to walk past everybody else in the room to go to that person yep. that has the line in front of them and say, I want to talk to this person because that's the person that's going to make everything else possible. And the reality of it is you walk past 10 people who ultimately that person is going to rely on to determine who they hire. There's managers, there's, you know, assistant managers, all these different positions that you, you need to be able to network and, and, and connect with. So, I mean, in terms of where those jobs are, I mean, you know, I think it's really about just trying to figure it out through networking, but I would definitely encourage everyone to, to really look at the people who are a step or two ahead of where you want to be and mm -hmm. focus as much as them as people that are down, you know, 10 years um, ahead of you. You know, one thing I'd add, too, is it's never a straight line from where you are to where you want to go. And so be patient and think about the doors that are going to open in different ways. When I started, I started as a part-time job in a country music radio station earning $5 an hour. I think my parents were going to cry because it was $5 an hour. This is what we paid for for your <laughs> business degree. Really? And from there, you know, a series of promotions and other things happened. And I never would have imagined where I got today. And I, I meet a lot of people who fixate. I, I think exactly to Bobby's point. It's kind of like, I want your job. And I, I want to get hired now so I can have that. No, you have to realize that there are steps. There's experience you need to get along the way to even find out if this is the job you ultimately want. Mm -hmm. Because things change a lot. So patience, a lot of patience.